uh, family members, people who work in the area. We have an invasion, and I do mean an invasion, of illegals coming in to the United States through Texas to head north. Anytime you have 200,000 plus a day, a month, I'm sorry, 200,000 plus a month to come into a country, that's an invasion. They've estimated that we're going to have over 2 million, that's with an M for you people from Rio Linda, people coming in to the United States. Um, some will stay in Texas, unfortunately. Some will migrate up north. Some will even head out to California where they have the best pardon me, the best welfare to work on. Most part, and I've watched enough videos, these are young men. Looks like from about 18 to 29 maybe, a little younger, single, no wives. They're going to come up here looking for jobs or do something, but there's not going to be enough jobs for unskilled labor. They're unskilled. Now, if they turn out to be rocket engineers or manufacturers or stuff like that, that's different. But they're not. They're unskilled. They're, unfortunately, people who do the jobs they say Americans won't do. Well, it's kind of hard to do a job to start a business when you have 50 companies run by Spanish people who will do the yard work and you can't get none of the business because they got five people on a team doing the yard. Uh, they come through my neighborhood all the time. I have one guy that does mine. He's a white guy. He's an older gentleman and he does as many as he can in a three-day period because after that he's exhausted. He has to quit. But these guys will work Monday through Sunday and we'll get all the business and everything else. So, where are these people going to go work? I don't know. I do know that most of the women with children, when they get here, they can immediately go on food stamps, WIC, which is Women with Infant Children, um, and collect subsidies like that. And they, all of them do it, every one of them. And don't say they don't, but they all do this. So, you know, it's really affecting our economy. It costs us a lot of money to do this. Um, they're, we are transporting by bus just about any place they want to go in the United States. We haul a bunch up north and leave them in Washington, D.C. for Biden, but he doesn't care. This administration, I don't know why they're trying to destroy the United States. With this rate of immigration, there's going to be about 8 million plus coming to this country this year. Or, or over the next four years. 8 million. If you take all of them and they bring their mothers, their fathers, their brothers, their sisters, that could triple real easily because a lot of these people can bring their relatives in once they get established here or they, if their relatives are not already coming in here. And they will migrate to an area where they're all Spanish people where they don't have to um, deal with um, gringos, you might say, or the immigration people. Immigration people don't go out here and just take people off the street and haul them off. A um, million years ago, I used to be a truck driver and I would go to these mobile home manufacturing companies and unload freight, mostly insulation. And one time, the immigration people came in and cleaned out the place. I mean, they gathered all these guys up and hauled them back to Mexico or wherever they go if they could not prove they were American citizens. So, but they don't do that no more. Unless you commit a crime and you've got to commit a bad crime and then you don't get deported. So, it's sad. 
but I don't want to make real long videos because it's hard for me to download them. So this is going to be a, a several stops and go again. So this is part one and we're going to start part two and maybe even a part three if we need to. So I'll be back in just a few minutes. Say goodbye. Goodbye. You've been very quiet here lately, haven't you? Okay.